Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're gonna look at why buttons get grayed out. We're gonna look at seven different reasons why this might be the case. So you'll see in Excel at the moment, I have lots of buttons grayed out. And if I right click, I also have some right click options grayed out. So why would this be the case? Okay, well, let's start with the most obvious reason. It may be that you are editing a cell. So if I write my name in the cell, you can see that while I'm editing the cell, lots of options are grayed out. Once I press enter, the buttons become active again. So you edit a cell when you double click in it, or when you go up to the formula bar and click, you can see all those buttons are grayed out. So just make sure you're not editing your cell. So the next reason you may have grayed out buttons is because the worksheet is protected so in this worksheet, I can see that lots of buttons are grayed out, but if I go to another sheet, the buttons aren't grayed out. So that's a sure sign that your sheet is protected. Now to unprotect the sheet, you need to go to the review tab on your ribbon and find the unprotect sheet button and click on it and you'll probably be asked for a password. Put it in, click on okay. And now, you'll see that my buttons have all become active. I have no grayed out buttons on my ribbon. Now, if you find when you right click on a sheet tab that certain items are grayed out, it may be because your workbook is protected. Now to unprotect the workbook, again, you need to be on the review tab of your ribbon. And there is the protect workbook button. You can see that it's active, it has a great background. If I click on it, it'll probably ask you for a password click on OK. But now if I right click on the sheet tab, all those options are now active. On to the fourth reason why buttons may be grayed out in your workbook. And that reason is because you have grouped sheets. So you can select more than one sheet in your workbook. And the way you do that is to select a sheet, hold down shift, and then select another sheet. You can see that those sheets are now all selected. And when I do that, certain options are grayed out. Now, if you want the buttons to work again, what you need to do is ungroup the sheets. There's two ways of doing that. You can right click on a grouped sheet tab and choose ungroup, or you can click on a sheet tab that isn't in the group and that will ungroup the sheets and your buttons are no longer grayed out. Now, the fifth reason why your buttons may be grayed out is because of some advanced display options that you've applied within your workbook. So at the moment, I cannot insert any objects here. And if I go to the developer tab, I can't use the insert ActiveX controls menu. So for sure, there's something wrong here. Now to get around this, if you're sure you're not editing a cell or you're sure you're not protecting a worksheet or a workbook, and you've not grouped your worksheets, this might be the reason. If you go to File, then Options, go to Advanced, scroll down until you see Display Options for this workbook. For Objects Show All. If it's set at Nothing, then there's your problem. Set it to All, click on OK. I've got my Insert menu for ActiveX controls and form controls working. I go to the Insert tab all these buttons are now active. Now for the last two reasons why buttons may be grayed out, I'm actually gonna to move to an older version of Excel. So I'm in Excel 2010, and if I go to my insert tab, I can see a lot of buttons are grayed out. And this is not for any of the reasons we've discussed so far. If I go to the review tab of my ribbon, I have this option in older versions of Excel called Share Workbook. If I click on that, I can see that I'm allowing changes by more than one user at a time. And that is disabling some of the buttons in Excel. So if I untick that option, click on OK, just click Yes there. Then if I go back to the Insert tab, you can see all of these buttons are no longer grayed out. Now a related option is Track Changes. So if I go back to the Review tab, Track Changes, Highlight Changes, you can see that I've got track changes while editing turned on, and this also shares your workbook. So with this option on, you'll see that I have my buttons grayed out again. So you've guessed what you've got to do. 
you've got to turn track changes off. So review tab, track changes, highlight changes, untick this option, click on OK, click on Yes, and then all your buttons come back to life. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that is useful. If it is, please subscribe. I'll see you next video.